All right, yo, what's going on, boys? Asian sensation back in another video. Today's episode, we are doing a old school tournament. Um, so Brian Treads is actually streaming right now, and I just got into one of his tourneys. Should be fun. Um, it's old school to prevent people from abusing powers, since you can't do boost only tournaments yet at Ninja Kiwi. Fix your game. Um, honestly, you should be able to customize the powers available in tourneys, but you know we can't have nice things, um, so that's fine. First round, we have Nightcore. We're going old school, so dude, honestly, Cobra is just going to be meta most maps. And Boat Boomer, which kind of sucks. We, I kind of wish we banned Cobra, but it's fine. Um, Inkplot is Boat Boomer map for sure. Uh, for sure. Could go Dartling Boomer as well, but I prefer the Buccaneer. And no fourths, of course. Yeah, you can't even ban fourth towers, dude. That's this game, man. Like, who knows who, if people have used force or not in tournaments. Like, you'd think there'd be some source of integrity, but, eh, we'll see. Good luck to Nightcore here. I'm gonna start off with a Buccaneer, since we don't have spikes. I don't really want to leak too much. And he leaves. Awesome, man. Awesome. Oh, he's back. Okay, sweet. My man's got McDonald's Wi-Fi over there. You hate to see it. Look how slow this game is going. You got turtle speed right now, bro. Start with a ninja. What the heck? Is this guy real? Interesting. Well, I'm gonna start off playing Eco then if he's gonna start off with a ninja. I am fine with that. Okay. He's going try hard with ninja, I think. Like, no troll. Well, he's not sending me anything, so I'm gonna go for my form. He went straight for a double shot. He's gonna be anti stalling really hard here. This be interesting. Don't know his other two towers. Guess we're in for a surprise. I can't say I've ever seen anyone start with Ninja on this map, <laughs> but hopefully he's not a hacker. He got that double shot pretty quick. Put that on last. All right. No rushes, so I assume he's saving up for a farm. Not sure, though. He just has a 3-0 um, Ninja at the moment. There's his farm. Okay. So we should be able to out-farm out him pretty handily. Double shot's not very cheap. Plus, we'll be able to overwhelm his ninja round six. So I'm going to go for my plantation and then save up for a round six rush. Uh, we'll just do some group balloons with some blacks over the top, probably. I think that's a good um, uh, start here. So we're going to do that. And he's not using farmers or upgrading his farm. Uh, is he going to pull like mortar or something? Like, I don't know what to expect here, personally. He has no powers, so I don't know what his plan is. Okay, I might just see you guys in round two of the tourney. Um, yeah, that's looking like it's going to be the case. Poor Nightcore, man. This is looking like a GG. I'll see you guys in round two. All right. All right, so we play the winner. <laughs> I guess we can spectate the the game that we play the winner of. So we play the winner of this. They're both going boat boomer. This is much more expected here. So we're going to catch up here. We'll sip some coffee, and we'll see what happens. These guys look pretty good. They're not playing too aggressive simply because it's old school. You don't have powers to rely on. So it's going to be a lot more over defending. So he's going for a rush to force a bionic, I'd assume. There it is, nice. CC noob and time bender both going at it. Fairly even. Honestly, very, very even. Slight eco lead for CC noob, but that's about it. Uh, round 11 is going to be fine. They got bios, so they'll be all right. I'd be surprised if there's a round 11 rush in the mix. Never mind, here comes time bender's round 11 rush. And cannon ship will solo. So now... If I'm CC noob, I go for a small camo rush, which is exactly what he's doing. Well played. Smart rush here since uh, time better went a little too aggro around 11. So this honestly might force a destroyer and a selling of a farm. He's just going to tank the leaks. Fat leaks here. And it looks like time bender is trying to save it for a rush. He has a little bit more money saved up, but he is down by 20 eco. I'm curious to see what goes down here, because Camo Ceramics are going to be deadly next round. CC Noob is actually no lives lost in this game, which is crazy on Inkblot without powers. 
So I would get a destroyer for round 15, which is exactly what Time Bender just did. CC noob could afford to go for a farm and then still afford a destroyer here in a sec. So let's see if he goes for his farm now. Yeah, I'd assume they'd just start farming, but instead they're going to go for around 16 rush. Camel Ceramic still in the mix here from CC Noob. And Time Better sees that and uses a turbo. And now he's going for a late round 16 rush. And CC Noob's all outing. What the heck is that? Double turbo for Time Bender? Is it enough? It is not. Wow, that's kind of a lucky ending. GG's though. GG's, boys. I wish my game would have went like that. <laughs> we didn't get that lucky, though. All right, so now we got a good opponent, and there's really good people in this tourney. Um, we got Brian, obviously. We got Lana. We got Arcane Tando. Mr. Lopez, who's been ranked one multiple times. We got Lizard King. Like, now we're getting with the good players, so it should be good. <laughs> we just kind of had to weed out that kid. All right, so next we have Dread. Now, is Heli Ice viable in old school is the question. I'm not so certain that it is, but what we can't, we, oh, we have a lot of options. I might honestly go DFA. I honestly might go DFA. Or I could go Tack Mortar. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, the loadout I pick is going to determine the outcome of this game, honestly. So we have to be wise in our decisions here. I think this is good. I think I can pull off DFA without powers. I really think I can. Let's just hope he's not going like aggro with Tack or something, because that would be pretty bad. We don't want to see aggro whiz tack or aggro tack mortar. So fingers crossed we don't see that and then we should be fine. I don't think he'd go dartling. Maybe, maybe actually. I could see dartling, but I don't know. So we're going to go for that. Is he going to eco? No, okay. So we're going to start upgrading our farm. I don't, he might be going dart as well. We're going to find out. Again though, I don't know what his third tower is going to be. So we're going to go 253... We got our nice little Christmas skin. So festive of us. And now we're going to save it for the trip dart. Oh, we'll good. So we're both going dart. This will be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Check the recording real quick. Vibing. And I could aggro, but I'm actually going to play somewhat passive since it is old school. He's, how does he leak so much? What? I feel like we got the same defense at the same time, but maybe not. All right. So I'm going to save up for my plantation here. It's a greedy play, but, you know, why not, right? Or should I? I'm actually just going to... No, I'm not going to. I'm going to go for 0-2 right here on last. We're going to go to, like, 272-ish. I don't know the exact number. Uh, 270 is fine, actually. We'll put that on close now. Put this on strong. Let's see how they do. Okay, we can send one more. And we're going to go for our plantation here, round 5. Perfect. So we're slightly out farming. He's slightly out ecoing. But we do have a slight life advantage as well. I'm going to keep setting pinks here. I'm going to save up for our second trip dart. I want to get that up. Since we don't have any spikes to rely on or tower powers or bloom powers. So we have to be smart here. He just went for his farm. I'm actually going to layer in around six. And this is the little advantage we have from uh, not sending as much as we can send more around six. We're gonna do that. He's not gonna have that much money to send those girthy round six rush, so I'm not really worried about whatever he's sending our way. Um, I also didn't send that chunky of a rush, as I would have liked, but it should still cause a good amount of damage over there. So I'm gonna go for a zero two right here. I'm just gonna send him constant blocks here. Get his darts chasing, force defense, force leaks. He might try to go for his farm right here, but. I don't know if that's going to be the move or not. We're fine with our defense. Our defense is doing really well, actually. And I can go for my farm, because we can nearly afford a spolt by just selling this uh, zero 2 trip dart. So we have that on last. I will go for a rush right here. If the round ends. Can he afford a spolt? I don't think that he can. He's going to have to micro that on the first or something. Yep, that's exactly what he did. Nicely done. I'm just going to go straight for my Spolt. 400 eco. This is an aggressive dart game, no doubt. So he's going to be sending quite a bit. He can't Bloom Boost, though. Round 9, though, I will need a Trip Dart if he continues with the aggression, which looks like he kind of is. So since he's at 30 lives, we want to rush him here round 9. 
and we'll put that on close. We should be fine here. He's gonna need. He might die to that Loki. It's old school, bro. He's underestimating the fact that it's old school. I think. Yeah. Okay. GGs. And I haven't had quite a good game yet, but GGs. GGs. Probably gonna be playing Brian Chess next, which will be uh, quite the challenge. So it should be fun. Let's watch them because we play the winner of this game. Um. Oh shit! I just spilled my coffee. Fucking. Hell. Of course, Mr. Lopez is memeing, so that's GG. Brian's going to win this 100 times out of 100. Cobra versus Tax Pack wins every time, so GG's. Very unlucky for Mr. Lopez here, but... That's the way of the road, I suppose. His farms are good. He has 250 eco. Um, yeah, this game is a wraps. If, if he starts blue adjustmenting, it's over. Spike Factory simply can't ha handle. That's just how it is. So Mr. Lopez is going to need to have a really lucky rush, but it's kind of impossible to get anything past Tack Mortar because you just Maelstrom everything and Signal Flare decamels everything, so you can't really get anything by. That's Bloon Wise. Is he going to let Mr. Lopez greed for the plan t or for the BIA? We'll see. And nope, he is not. Mr. Ryan is going full try hard to get versus us in the semifinals. This is going to be a GG. There's no way Lopez defends this. He has to all out at this point. He has to all out at this point. Instead, he's just going to go for spiked mines for memes. That's so unlucky, Mr. Lopez. Nothing you can do, man. You picked the meme loadout, though, so it feels bad. All right. So, yeah, there's nothing uh, Lopez can really do here. Spactory's handling. <laughs> He's trying to farm. No shots. I mean, the Spactory does act as a big one now after the update. But it still gets overwhelmed by group balloons as we're witnessing right now. But Dang, Brian almost has 900 eco. So the only way Lopez wins this is if he makes it to round 20, sends a couple of BFBs or something, and hopes Brian just chokes his micro or something. I don't really know how else he can win this, but... He's going for the Spactory play. And Brian already has a misdirection. So he is ready. Brian's playing this as safe as possible by the looks of it. Lopez has <laughs> one and a half, two, two plantations. Hasn't sent a single balloon, I believe. I think he just got that 80 eco from his BIA. Okay, the Spactory, fourth year Spactory is low-key good against adjustment. I'm surprised. It is also extremely expensive, though, and it still is going to get overwhelmed by adjustment over time. Unless you have, like, five of them, but that's not feasible. So Brian's trying to over overwhelm the factory right now. You hate to see it. Looks like we're going to have a GG here any second now. Lopez is doing his best to farm, but at this point, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just futile, bro. So we'll see. I don't know what, how long, much longer this game is going to go on, but it should be uh, rounding off here shortly. Lopez is still farming. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, if Lopez does send a big rush round 22, he doesn't have that much money to rush with, unluckily. So that's kind of a shame. He can only send like four, four BFBs, which is really easy with 1,000 eco and a billion Cobras to sell. And it looks like he's getting overwhelmed as we speak. He's getting up another Spactory. He has a Spike Storm. Unlucky. This is just depressing to watch because it's just unlucky. Nothing he can do. You have to rush him, bro. Just rush him. There you go. Oh, I was going to say just boost, but you can't boost. Lol. So Brian has a misdirection. I think he, yeah, he's defending the fun way with the uh, Maelstrom spam. And he's using his fourth. Doesn't matter though, on GG's. Yeah. All right. Now we have our biggest matchup against the tourney host. Let's go, boys. This is hype. I don't have a stream pulled up, so I have no idea what he's going to be going. Um, should be interesting. What map do we have? Temple. I might go dart here. Dart farm bomb, potentially. I might go or glue. Dart farm glue won't be terrible. I don't know what I want to... Dude, we could do a dart sniper ace as well. 
I just don't like not having powers and ecoing though. Um, yeah, this is a big decision to make. I honestly think Dart Farm Bomb might be my play. Or Wiz. I feel like I kind of want to try Dart Farm Bomb, low key. I kind of want to try it. I have no idea what he's gonna go though. He might go Darling. Who knows? Yeah, we're gonna give this a shot. It's awesome, good luck. He might go Cobra for all we know. He definitely could go Cobra, so that'd be scary to see, but who knows what Brian's going to go. There's so many different strats you can go in old school. That That's why I love it. Cobra does run old school for the most part, but this isn't a great Cobra map in all honesty. But I could still see him bringing like Cobra, Dart, Wiz, or some weird thing like that. So I don't know. We'll find out. He also could be going DFA, but DFA kind of needs powers, I feel like. It's somewhat viable on this map, but I'm just going to be playing aggressive Dart. Um, and that should prevent TFA from doing that well. We'll see, though. It's anyone's game. No doubt, no doubt. So I'm going to go 253. And then we're going to get this down right here. Perfect. So he's also going Dart. I, I highly doubt we have the same third tower, though. So I'm expecting... Whoops, I forgot to send that. I'm kind of expecting uh, Ace, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I'm going to be playing aggro, like I said, so that's why I'm rushing him as we speak. And I am going to get up second dart here in a sec. Because we're going to need two trip darts for round four as well. And I'm going to have to get that up. We don't have any powers. Let's keep that in mind, boys. So I think I sent a little bit too early, because now it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to afford a trip dart here. But uh, so be it. Let's put that on close. See, so, yeah, you can see I can, can't really send that much of a rush. Oh, that's on last. Whoops. All right, well, we've leaked less overall so far, so that's fine. Now we're just going to greed for our plantation. And then I'll aggro round six, most likely. I don't know. I'm not going to really have that much money. Round seven might be the aggro round instead. Um, so I, I think I play expecting that he has ace. I don't know, though. We'll see. Because Dart Farm Bomb is more so an aggressive Dart Strat as opposed to Dart Farm Ace. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, he's going to have a decent amount of money. I'm still going to go for it, actually. Uh, should force at least a 0 to Dart. And I mean, any defense force is good. So we're going to do that. He's going to go for that. I'm going to save up for... I was thinking a Bomb, but instead we'll do this. I don't want to reveal Bomb quite yet. So that's going to change his play style as well. Let's go like this. I think we're fine against that. He's playing aggro too, so he might not have ace. Low key, he might not have ace. I think we're fine against that, right? I sent a pretty girthy rush at him, but he had really good dart targeting, so well done. I'm not going to upgrade to a spolt or a second trip dart quite yet because I want to get a spolt. There we go. Put that on strong now. This on first. That on first as well. Okay. We've leaked, what, 74 lives? 64 lives, excuse me. So that's fine. He's going to try farming here. I don't know if he has enough for a spolt. Oh, he does. Okay. Well, I'm going to send whites over the top. Constant whites. We're playing really eco-heavy, as I kind of mentioned. So well done. He has great targeting on those darts, so he handles that really well, and he's out farming. We have slightly more eco, though. That's the trade-off. He might aggro around 9. Uh, nope, he's not. I have cheap... <coughs> I have cheap lead detection, though. Um, in our cannon. So that's that's great. So I'm actually... Hmm, I'll go for my farm. The greedy play. So he's going for his jug, which leads me to think he has ace. I'm going to place this here. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, I do want to aggro here. It's going for that. We'll be fine with this. Put this bolt on first temporarily. All right, are we good? I think so. I'm going to farm on. Greedy play. I don't have a freaking... Uh, oh, boy, that was not the move because I don't even have a juggy. You got to get our juggy up. So he has ace 100%. And he's probably going to go for a bank or something, dude. But no boost to rely on. Let's keep that in mind. 
I'm gonna go for a rush right here. Let's see how he handles this. I just can't let him get good farms or else he's gonna be able to defend Moabs like it's nothing. And we, we don't want that. <laughs> so he's gonna be space equaling right now, that's fine. He can't really get much by his defense till uh, region leads are grouped or group region leads becomes available, but I will go for a group's region led rush here shortly. As soon as this round ends, we have 500 eco to our name. He's probably got a similar amount, probably like 470, 460. Not sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna rush here. Let's do this. He's gonna he's going chipper. Okay, very interesting. Is that enough though? I don't know if that's enough. He's spamming defense. He's good. He's gonna go for round 16 rush with ceramics. I would imagine. We'll see if that assumption is correct. Now, this is interesting. This is really interesting. I was not expecting Chipper. I thought he had Ace based on how he was playing, but he was playing slightly aggressive, which was surprising. So I'm not going to go for any more farms. He went for a bank. Okay. Not expecting that. Uh, wow. That's a really late bank. I don't know, man. I feel like if you go for a bank, it's got to be like round 15 or earlier. Either way, let's get ready for Moabs. And we're going to send him a Moab. And I'm going to get ready for Moabs from him as well, like I said. We're going to have to get up quite a bit. Of, I'm going to have to sell a farm to defend a Moab. I didn't mean to send a ceramic right there, by the way. Well, that's awkward. He's going for the fan club, so he afforded that. Nice. And I'm going to rush him here. Let's see what he does. He's going for jug number two. Should be enough, I think. He is good. Well done, well done, well done. All right. So I'm surprised he didn't send me a Moab. Maybe he just doesn't have the money. He's probably sending one now, though, I'd imagine. I have five trip darts and a mauler. And once we pop the Moab, I would sell this to get up an impact. But I don't know how possible that's going to be. How do I want to play this now? I don't really know, bro. I mean, I'd rather have my strat late game than his. Personally. So maybe I do go for... A Republic here and just farm on. Uh, this is... In I'm just shocked he hasn't sent me a Moab. That's, that's where I'm at right now. A little mind blown by that. But I'm just going to farm on. He has a bank, which isn't earning him that much interest, but he'll probably upgrade that to a BIA here at the end of the round. Yep, easy reads. Well done. So round 21 BIA for him. Uh, he's probably got like 700 eco maybe. I don't know. I don't think it's much higher than ours. I could go for... Hmm, do I want to go for my farm? I'm definitely going for my farm at the end of this round. I think we can get away with greeting that. Because I should be able to get two jugs. Maybe three jugs if I sell a cluster. Um, or a mauler. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for that. Jug number two. It's going to be rushing. Probably going to do some camo ceramic rush or something. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go for another jug. Three jugs and a... S yeah, that's good enough. We have our 4-2. I could cash a sellout by setting a BFB maybe. No, I don't think we could, actually. I'm just surprised no Moab's been sent our way, bro. Like, well, <laughs> I, my Moab defense is not good at all. It's really not. All right, well, I just say farm on here. 650 eco. I'd like a little bit more, but honestly, dude, like I'm saying, I defending with Dart Farm Chipper is not easy for Moab's plus. This is an intense game thus far, though. I'm really enjoying this, so this is good. This is good. Now, what's going to be his plan? He's getting more chippers up. I do want to get him another jug for round 24. Or we could go for an impact. Impact won't be a bad play. I think I'd rather have an impact. Okay. I think I'd rather have an impact. So I'm going to go for that. I don't think he'll go for any camo ceramic rush. Those are just so expensive. 990% of fast cooldown. Do we even need this? Probably, yeah. I don't know if I needed that. 
but better safe than sorry. I need it for round 25 for sure. So he's doing well over there. He's farming quite well. He's selling his BIA now, actually, to farm on. I'm curious to see when we get our second uh, farms. He has more eco than us now, though, so. Oh, I didn't mean to send a ceramic, bruh. Uh, he's sending camel ceramics our way. We're fine against that, no doubts. Let's get that up. We're good, we're good, we're good. Go for my farm. So he's definitely out of ecoing, sadly. But I, I still think our late game defending uh, potential is better. So I think I'm going to rush him like round 30. So I can maybe go for... I think I'll go for one more farm. And that's it. He might just save up for his oh my god right now though. So I'm not going to go for my farm quite yet. I think he's going to save up for his oh my god. In which case I'm going to send him an immediate oh my god back. Actually, I could just send his oh my god right now. I'm not going to though. He doesn't eco lead, so maybe I should. Ah, uh, whatever. We're gonna farm on. All right. I'm actually not gonna sell my jugs. Actually, yes, I am since he's farming. Tied in farms, but again, he has that eco lead. Pretty close though, I will say. Pretty close game. Go for my four two. Now we're done for farms. I'm not farming anymore. I'm gonna save up for a rush. I'm actually going to go for some Maulers right now as opposed to a fan club. It's a little bit cheaper and it's permanent. I don't have to keep rebuying a fan club. So that should defend, I believe. Just fine. Yes, indeed, baby. Yes, indeed. Let's see, I'm going to save up for a rush now. I think he just sent me his oh my god or something. We'll find out here shortly. I want to get up a fan club as well. Yep, I, dude, I, my reads are insane, bro. Holy chat. Easy fucking reads. All right, let's get the fan club going. All right. To sell a farm. And we have to counter. All right, let's get a fan club going again. All right. I don't think we can defend this. Holy chat. Can we? Maybe. We can maybe defend this. I don't think so, actually. Um, Maybe. Low key, though. Where's my fan club, bro? Uh, yeah, we're dead. GG's, GG's, GG's. That was a good game, though. Ah, uh, I should have just countered immediately with a big rush. That was a good game, though. Old school is fun, man.